guys, welcome back to Pixie Woo. I am joined by my lovely friend Stacey today. Now, for about nine years, I've been saying to Stacey, can you come and be on YouTube? Yes. And you have been running. Have YouTube? been running from it, but yeah. also you wanted to build up the confidence and feel yes. ready to do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Stacey's a makeup artist as well, and um, Sam and I. Obviously, when we do our videos, we try to give you alternative colours that will work for darker skin, but we can't show it properly. No. So, I think you should stay following us, but also <laughs> go and follow Stacey, and she can give you much more insight um, on working on her skin colour as well, on black skin. Um, and she's going to do a video for you today. Yep. So, Cheers. I'll put all the links in. I'm going to leave her to take it away because I've rambled on enough. I stay rambling in every video, I'm sure. <laughs> and um, she will do a lovely look for you. Hi guys, so today I'm going to create a look for you which is quite playful. Um, it's inspired by a chocolate orange and you'll see with the colour choices why I say that afterwards. Um, I just wanted to do a makeup that was um, really realistic in terms of the skin. I know there's a real trend at the moment for like full on glam all the time but not everyone wants to wear that style of makeup and as a makeup artist I don't get booked on jobs or with clients to do that kind of makeup. So I wanted to show you something that was a bit more realistic and a bit more believable but still fun. So we've been in winter forever and I'm dying for some sun and some warmth so I just wanted to do something that was colourful and um, something that reminded me of being somewhere warm. So hopefully you like the look and let's get going. So first of all I'm going to do my brows. I like to set my brows in place before I do my base. Now I'm just using my Illamasqua brow gel just to comb these up and give them some time to set before I go in and fill them in. I'm not going to explain my um, skin routine too much as I'm uploading a video. Well, I don't know if it will be up at the same time as this, but anyway, check out my channel. I've got a really in-depth video that explains foundation, so that's why I'm missing out on this video. I'm not using primer. I don't always use primer, and um, I want my skin to look quite um, luminous and dewy and glowy, and I kind of like how sometimes when my natural oil seeps through, it kind of creates that look for me, so... There will be um, no primer today. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to do my skin. And I'm going to use, um, I think it's called a Pro Concealing Correct thingy majig. There will be links below so you can see. And I'm just going to sort out my hyperpigmentation in this area of my face. It's a very attractive goatee. And I'm just using a Real Technique sponge and working this in. And it just helps to brighten a little bit before you put your foundation on. And then next I'm going to use my foundation. I'm using the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. So this isn't the new one that's just come out. It was the one before. And it does what it says on the tin. It looks like skin when it goes on. And I think the colour I'm using is 7.25. I'm in between this one and the next shade down, which is Warm Almond. I mostly put foundation on my cheeks. Because that's where I have the most patchiness and discoloration. And then I'll go back with my sponge and then just push that all in. I really like using sponges for a base because you get to really work the product into the face. It doesn't sit on top so much and it doesn't get streaky like it can do with brushes. Put a tiny bit of foundation here. Not too much. I don't really put a lot of foundation on my forehead because it's quite clear. Actually, I'm going to show you something that I do afterwards as well. I don't really put a lot of products on my nose. As I don't like to see build up in this area so I kind of as much as possible try and avoid putting lots of products here and then I'm just going to sort out my jawline and I'm using my um, MAC what is this called Pro Conceal and Correct palette the color that I use is dark and I think I'm going to take a mixture of NW45 and NW50 so these colors have got quite a red undertone to them and my skin is naturally more yellow but where I am darker on the perimeter of my face and on my forehead the yellower tones can look really ashy on my skin, so I like to mix these two together and just kind of blend those areas out. So I just skim a tiny bit here. And then on my forehead, so my forehead is really high and really round, and it doesn't need any more highlight, so I like to put a tiny bit of this in the middle of my forehead too. So it's just mixing the NW45 and NW55 together just to tone that down a little bit. So now I'm gonna do a tiny bit of, it's not really contouring, so 
I don't really like that word. I think it's just because it's been used so much and in such a like heavy handed way, it kind of puts people off when they hear it, but I just want to explain why I'm doing this. So my forehead, like I said, is really high and really round. And if I use a darker color here, I think this is number, yeah, 10.25 Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation Stick. And then I'm gonna go back with my sponge and it just creates some dimension to my face. It shouldn't look like I've made the outer edge of my face darker, but it just reads a lot better than having one color all over. A lot of black women or women of color are not one tone all over their face. It doesn't make sense to put the foundation that fits me here, here, because they're completely different colors. So oh, I said I wasn't gonna to talk too much about skin. <laughs> and then I'm just using like the leftover that's on the sponge kind of underneath the cheekbone, but not really going in with the proper full-on contour. Okie doke. So now I'm gonna do my under eye concealer, and I use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand, and I just put that only in the darker parts of my face. And a little bit on my eyelid. I don't really know why I do this, it's just a habit. I think it just makes my lid a little bit more neutral, so I tend to do that quite a lot. And I'm just gonna blend this out. I mean, you can use your fingers as well, just like to tap away the edges. Fingers are good blenders too. And then on this part of my face, I'm just gonna go back in with the end of the sponge and just work it into the skin around it. And I like to put a tiny bit here because I have a tiny bit of darkness in the corner of my eye, so just to tone that down a little bit. So now I'm going to go on to my highlight, because I do want this look to be quite, um, like I said, really dewy and glowy. And I'm using my Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer in number 10, which I love. It's my favourite, favourite highlight to use. It's a liquid one, and I feel like on my skin, most believable. You need to be really careful with um, powder highlights sometimes, and it's not even always to do with how much they cost, because there are some high-end um, highlighters that just look really chunky and glittery on the skin. Whereas this one just looks like I've been on holiday. Doesn't look like makeup. I don't like makeup that you can see. You're probably gonna hear me say that a lot. And then just so it doesn't look weird, I like to put a tiny bit here just so that the light carries across the face rather than just having like two spotlights on either side. Don't highlight my forehead, doesn't need any more. So next I'm gonna do my brows. Um, this is the struggle brow and this is the brow that I wish this one looked like. I don't know why that this one is so much gappier than this one. So I'm just going to use my spikes brow pencil and fill this in. Fill in the gaps down here and try and emulate this brow on this side of my face. And I still like my brows to look like hair. I don't like just the solid block colour and I don't like, I'm not a fan of that like ombre look in the beginning of the brow either. I just like them to look like good solid brows like Brooke Shields had or has, she's still alive. So um, now I'm gonna just do a tiny bit of brow highlight. I think this is a 239 that I'm using. I'm gonna go back with my Amand concealer and just tidy them up a tiny bit. I like the softness of this brush. It doesn't give like a really hard edge to the brow. And then I just use my finger to press it all in so it doesn't look makeup y. So, onto the fun bit. I mean, the skin was fun as well, but this is what I've been looking forward to the most. So, for my eyes, I'm going to use this. And if you've watched my channel, you'll see that I'm quite fond of using lip products like on my cheeks, and I do like them as eye products as well. This is a retro matte lipstick from MAC, and the colour is called Bengal Tiger, and it's a really vibrant orange. I am going to warn you though, it does stain, so if you're thinking of doing this yourself, like use a primer or a base underneath it so it doesn't stain, I don't really mind that it stains, so um, I'm not going to use another one. I've just got a tiny bit of concealer on my eyelids from before. And I'm just going to do one little dot there, and a little goes a long way. And just blend that in. And the reason why I love using these, especially, is because they are budge proof so they don't crease and they stay on so even if you wanted to like now put like a bronzy eyeshadow over it or something else like it's going to stay in place 
but it's much thinner than using a cream. So yeah, I really like doing this. It's so pigmented as well, so. Oh, maybe that wasn't enough. That's it. Okay, and then the fun bit is I'm gonna take some lip gloss. This is from NARS and the color is called Wonder. And I'm just going to pop this on top. I love glossy eyelids. Use my ring finger. And I'm just going to concentrate on the middle in the beginning. And it will naturally move. If you're someone that's really like, um, if you've got hooded eyes or you don't like the, the or if you've got hooded eyes or you don't like the feeling of gloss on the lid, this may not be the look for you. But if you just wanted to try something a bit more fun, then just eyeshadow. This is pretty cool. And then I'm just going to wipe off my finger and just blend through the crease a bit more. Cool. So then, now I'm going to do some mascara. I'm using my um, extended play, my favourite. I'm only using mascara on my top lashes today. And I like to use this one as a primer sometimes. Well, a lot of the time. So I'm going to use the same products that I used on my eyes on my cheeks. Like I said, it's really pigmented, so you don't need a lot. Just give a lovely, warm flush of orange to the cheeks. So nice. I think I started doing things like this because um, when I would go to work, I'd have to work, work with whatever was in my makeup bag and I am quite scatty. So I'd often forget like a blusher or something and then I had to improvise because I couldn't turn up to work with no makeup on. So I think that's how I learned how to do weird things with different products. Right, I'm going to go back in, put a tiny bit more concealer now that that's set as well. And that through again. And then I'm going to take a tiny bit of my YSL powder. Don't worry, everything's going to be linked below. So you can see what I used. Tap off the excess and just press that into only this area because I want to keep my highlight on my cheek really nice and glowy. So now I'm going to go back and do the second coat of mascara on my top lashes again. This is um, in Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara, my favourite. I, I don't know if I'm even willing to try and find a new one. It works so well for my lashes. Okay, and now that that's on, and I think I'm happy with my blush as well, I'm going to set the rest of my face. So I'm going to take a powder brush, and I'm using the Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark, the natural colour in Dark. And I'm just going to set the middle of my face with this one. Tiny bit on my nose, and that's all I'm really going to use there. Maybe a tiny bit on my chin. And then I'm going to use Dark Deep on the outer perimeter of my face. And definitely take this shine down in the middle of my forehead. And then the last thing I'm going to do is my lips. So this is how the chocolate orange came about. I'm using Bittersweet, which is a Pro Longwear um, lip pencil from MAC. It's really similar to Chestnut. I wish I could talk and do my lips at the same time. Oh, I can. This is another little trick I used to do as well. Sometimes I'd forget my lipstick, so I would just use the pencil all, all over, and that would be my color for the day. So guys, that's the final look for today. I just wanted to show you something that was a bit more fun and playful. Um, I really love a glossy eyelid. To be honest, it's a really good cheat to make it look like you've put lots of effort into your makeup. When I used to work at MAC, when I was running late, I would often just do like a glossy eye and a bold lip and I, it would get so much like attention from people. And yeah, so if you're in a hurry and you still wanna look pretty, gloss is the way to go, I think, on the eyelid. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am a little bit nervous being on here, but if, there, if you're interested in seeing more looks like this and um, with an emphasis on like really believable beauty, Please follow me on my channel and don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I think I said that already. See you on the next one. Bye. Hi, welcome back to Fitzy Woo. Where's my...
That's because you've got no makeup on and I've got makeup on. I'm lucky. Right, you ready? Yeah. It's a nice sponge. It's a good sponge, eh? Yeah, really nice. you got a few of them there. So guys, that's the final look for you today. It's like, no, let's start again. No, but then my head looks massive. You do. <laughs> I'll, I'll move my head forward. <laughs> no, I'm going to move. Yeah, that's best. <laughs> Giant head. <laughs> Let me come in a bit because I do have a little head and I've got crazy hair. I've got um ample head. This is mine's Diddy. <laughs>